Welcome, and thank you for joining us at Our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on God's grace. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Today is finished. It is time to hand its joys and its burdens to the Lord. Come now as you are and surrender yourself to his mighty power and love at work within you. Be still and dwell in his word of life and hope. Heavenly Father, as your child, I humbly yet confidently come before you. Thank you that I can rest under the shelter of your wings, here in the secret place of your presence. Luke chapter 15 verses 21 to 24 says, The Son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the Father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Jesus once told the story of a young man who rejected his father's love and provision. Wishing him dead, the son took off and sought a new life for himself. Time passed and he returned, broken and with great sorrow in his heart. He had spurned and shamed his father. What kind of reception would he receive? The father ran to embrace his returning son. He gave his boy the best robe, which was likely his own. He put a ring on his finger, a symbol of being a part of the family again. And he put shoes on his bare feet, elevating him from slave back to son. This is what grace looks like. Whenever we come to our Father from however far away, we are always received with love, generosity and celebration. Do you struggle to envision God's love for you? Reflect on Jesus' story tonight. He will show you that this is your heavenly Father's heart for you. Now as we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. 
the presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart, and become aware of the presence of our Almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. So breathe in and out. And in and out. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for always receiving me with such abundant, welcoming grace. I run into your arms tonight. Lord God, forgive me for any waywardness you see in me. Please bring to mind anything I need to repent of so I can be free to rest in your embrace. Luke chapter 15 verse 20 says, While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the reminder tonight that you delight in me because of your love, not because of my attempts at goodness. I am welcome here in your presence because you have made me your child. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Amen. <laughs>